Oops is out here putting work on the suspension. Look at that, guys. You see the logo right there? Some skunk too. Check this out, guys. So if you guys have this tool here, right, by TN, this is actually for the top one and the lower one, but when you have it super tight, this is a little thing that they have right here. You put it here so it won't damage it, and you smack it with like a rubber mallet, and then that is what breaks it loose. A lot of people ask me, what's this for? What's this for? What's this for? It's the same concept. You put this here, you put the ratchet here, and you just torque it, and then bam, when you have a hard time being able to hold it. So now you guys know what these two things are for. All right, so a quick little tip. <laughs> oh, and then we did the fender roll on this, so nice and tucked up, so that way you don't have no more issues hitting your wheels and tires and all that good stuff. Fender roll and suspension. Well, suspension adjustment. One centimeter from this to here. We're gonna leave it there. Put the wheel on, see where it sits. If it sits good, we're good. If and not, it does it. Oh, and he also got these. New lug nuts as well. New set, new pair. He's building this car up. He's a very loyal customer. And I don't know if you guys are gonna be watching this on uh, the Eddie's Lifestyle or the new channel Backyard TV, but go ahead and subscribe to both. Both, yeah. Because his is a little crazy. Mine is more little concept, but <laughs> they're both funny as hell. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, way lower. Alright. So as of that, we're gonna have to go another round. Another round and lower <laughs> some more. Going on another round, trying to trying to lower some more. Well, this one has a bunch of hoops were saying that he put it down lower to an inch and a half. It was still a little too high. Way too high. Lower and more. We're gonna go lowest and then we're gonna go back up if needed from the looks of how much it dropped from the last time. Maybe lowest is gonna be the point. Because you gotta remember, okay, Skunk 2, this company's made for performance production. So if you're a track guy, if you're something like that, you wanna just start it and you're just starting off, this is what you wanna go with. The reason why, no matter how much low you go, you always have that good clearance. They made it to that spec for that reason. These are not meant to be on slam down camber stand style cars. Of course, if my boy wants to go lower, and want to do more things, then well, definitely he's gonna have to go with like VCs, D2s, when people are in a budget, true hearts, and uh, DNA. But don't get it twisted. DNAs are really good, man. They just, the brand out there is it's, it's, it's on the low, you know? That's all it is. So, what this is doing is the adjustment of your actual whole entire piece right here. So. This whole entire column here is picking up as we're raising it and as also it's cambering in. The reason it's cambering in because the lower you go, the more natural camber you have. When you get these and the adjustable ones, you can actually pull your wheels completely straight or you can camber it in to have a negative. And that is called being slammed if you are cambered. <laughs> That's that. I don't care about my tires. Yep. Lifestyle. Wheel. My old CRV was, <laughs> I don't care about my wheels. Yup, as you guys can remember <laughs> at the car show, the clean culture video, I was right driving there, the CRV. Yup, yeah. wasn't even slammed, it was just lowered a little bit. It was and at it was the highest hammered. point. It was at the highest point that we could get it. Damn. Because we needed to carry all those things. Yeah, no, it was definitely not even low, not even a little bit. Yep. It was at the highest, highest, highest point that my CRV could go. A lot of people that follow me on SoCal CRVs, shout out to all those guys. You know, um, that gave me all the knowledge and all that. Um, I put their knowledge and my knowledge together and I built the lowest CRV possible uh, static. I was lower than a lot of CRVs that were completely bagged out and all that, cut, tubed, you know? Yeah. But it isn't a competition, it's just a friendly, friendly game of building, breaking, and repeating. As you guys gonna see throughout the videos here at Backyard TV and at Eddie Lifestyle, you're gonna see a lot of uh, do's and don'ts. Right here, this one doesn't have no don'ts. Definitely wanna make sure that when you have coilovers and stuff like that, you wanna keep these clean. So I know a lot of you guys take care of the outside. Get your pressure washer, hit it one time, put some oil from time to time. It's just like back in the day when you guys used to ride a bike. 
you wouldn't be able to ride the bike or the chain link was all rusted. It's yep. the same thing. You come down and we'll get you the right fitment for your right setup. Don't try to go somewhere where they think they know. Come to the people that actually know. Yep. We have our carts. We've tried it. We know what works, what doesn't. We also fix other people's stuff so much that, you know, that's just how it is. Only at Backyard Dreamers. That's right. Give them a follow. It will be right here. A picture will pop up. Their Instagram. And the address is on the bio. Comes a new shop. And like I said, we're open. We're not officially open. And the flyer will be right here as well. You guys are local to the IE. Well, Come even if you're not, there's a lot of people coming from Vegas. There's a lot of people coming from San Diego. Uh, post it up on your forums. And uh, you guys caravan with those guys. Uh, shout out to all those guys coming out. I ain't gonna put you on blast. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, y'all ready to do this? Yep. I'm gonna leave a little bit of a gap, just a tiny bit. All right, now let's see. All of you. Before, the fitment on that one, and then after we hit it with the little backyard dreamers touch. Oh yeah. Got the little beefy setup. Got the one finger gap. Almost less than a finger, a little bit less than a finger. Little beefier setup. Little poke sticking out. Little hot boy. Now time to do the same thing on this side. On the other side. Our back end dreamers, and we'll give you that magic touch to your cars. Oh God, a magic touch to your cars, <laughs> to your cars. Oh, as you guys can see, the Brembo calipers. So look how high these are. Look how high this is, and at the end of the, these are going to be all the way down here, and it's going to have the right fitment, the right poke. Wouldn't even need a spacer for them. Come get your professional fender rolling in. What you always want to do is you always want to make sure you heat up. We have it right now because the sun's out. We have it at 660. If it goes up to the point where it gets really fresh, we can put it up up to all the way to like 1200 or something. So as you can see, you can see the numbers climbing. So that prevents the actual thing from cracking. The only downside to this is that you can burn the paint. So when you do do it, you have to literally be like moving because if not, you'll burn the paint. A lot of people ask me how you get that OEM finish where it doesn't look rolled. You use a mallet and a heat gun. I say it's all to the touch. When you're doing pools, then you put on the fender roller for the fronts at least. Super simple. It just takes time to learn. I'm going to realign that, especially since we're doing the fender roll. So we just interfere with an issue where it didn't want to go down anymore and then we still had space to go lower so the issue was so basically what a lot of people tend to do when these type of coilovers you want to go and back into like the 90s coilover sleeves which is lowering or raising this one to mess with the height so what they did they wanted to raise the car they didn't raise this one they did that the quick fast easy way was they raised this one all the way to the max but what ends up happening is that you end up putting a lot of pressure onto this. So even when you adjust your height, your spring load is super stiff, right? These cars come with like a bunch of different specs of different type of suspension. This suspension specifically has adjustable dampering. That is to prevent from you having to do all this. Now, if you didn't have adjustable dampering, that is a way so you can make your car stiffer, ride a little lower, or just lift it and still nice and stiff right this is not the case for this one this one they kind of overdid it so as you can see i'm loosening this one on top up i already loosened this bottom one up that is the lock one all right so if you guys can see this one is loose the bottom one is super tight so you can remove this one down and what we're basically doing is we're getting this one and we're spinning it down now the reason is like i said you don't want to do that right out the back all the time but this is one way to check your dampering. So these come preloaded. So what that means is that if your car has a specific load, these come already preloaded. Sometimes, yeah, you can mess with the preload and you can check and by, by the weights. There's actually a tool you can put so you can actually adjust all that, right? This case is somebody went ham on this shit. And um, I'm sorry if you're the old owner of this vehicle, but uh, the new owner don't fuck around with this bullshit, so 
we're gonna fix it right. <laughs> so now we're able to go even lower than it was before. This is not the case for these type of coilovers, like I said on the on the previous side, that these coilovers are not meant for that. But we can actually have it properly because let's say you have the dampering to the stiffest or you have it to the softest and you still have it super stiff so one side is bouncing around. You don't want that. You don't want to have that bounce. This isn't a low rider. You don't <laughs> need to be bouncing around to have a smooth, nice, comfortable ride and as well as a stiff enough so you can corner better and you can actually perform a lot better and safer. More than anything, safer. Safety is key here when it comes down to suspension ride and all that good stuff. You guys can see right here, the coilover is actually spinning a little softer. That means the preload, it's slightly releasing. So even though you guys can't see it there on, the, on TV, you'll be able to see that right now. I'm able to see a little bit of movement on that. So we're gonna basically re-put it to where it needed to be. And as you can see in the bottom, if you look in here, this is closing that gap, which as is on the other ones. So we basically have it to where this literally slides right there. So you see, wow, look, you see that? You can see movement, right? So now put the preload a little bit higher, a little bit stiffer, and then bam, we're there. And that means that on the lower, we're there as well. So guess what, what we've done, with this one and the customer can get on his way. There it is guys, same specs. I'll bet you anything this is gonna slide right in. Perfect, look at that, boom. Exact, just like the other ones. There you guys have it. Hope you guys enjoyed this, till next time.